Good morning. Welcome to the class of 315 Life Skills. So today we're going to study on the personal development, uh, personal development plan that can help us to grow as a person. So did you know that you can make your dreams, the aspirations, reality by focusing on your own individual and personal development plan where your potential is limitless and uh, and you're investing in your personal development in a way to harden your many talents so what happens is when through this we can establish goals for what you want to achieve in your life or in your ministry where you could um where you would like to go, uh, you can set some short-term and long-term goals where um, you can improve your personal development. Well, in this session, um, they will share a few insights uh, on personal development where uh, we can understand the importance of personal development and we can come up with a plan which is known as personal development plan or in short they also call it as uh, PDP and why should uh, why should one make this decision or why should uh, one write one need a personal development plan is what we can look into this session or we can uh, get from this session so what do you think what is a personal development plan for you or pdp for you anyone from the class would like to share What is a personal development for plan for you? Or have you uh, made any such plans? And uh, which level are you in? How well are you progressing in that plan? Is there anyone from the class? Please do raise your hands and you can share your inputs with the class. Oh. Anyone? Abhishek? Okay, Abhishek has just joined. Charles, would you like to share? Okay, Asa, I can, I can, I'll try. Yes, uh, Maggie, please go ahead. Personal development is the is the way we we, we, we improve our lives. So it's that we we, we we assess ourselves and see where we are lacking, and we either read books or go to seminaries so that we can improve and yeah attend yeah. attend Thank the goal you. that Thank we are, you, are planning to. Yes. Yes. Yes, Mr. Charles, you can go ahead, please. You can unmute your mic. Okay, thank you so much, Pastor, um, for the development. Uh, for instance, me, uh, during during the during the the COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. uh, when it came on, I said, but I cannot sit here, and I remain here seated. So. I had to enroll for two certificate courses uh, because I needed to learn them. And then it was again during the same period that I also got the opportunity to join this uh, APC Bible College. So uh, it is a, a way on how you are looking at yourself and you want to improve. And then um, every year our organization does what they, they call um, performance review and in the performance review there is always a question where you are supposed to talk about how you have enriched yourself academically spiritually 
and all that. So I have to endeavor to see that at least at the end of the year, uh, there is something I've done to improve myself um, scholarly, spiritually, even socially, even at family level. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Charles, for sharing your inputs. Well, that's nice. And yeah, so personal development, well, when I look at it, I, I look at it as it is a process where we can improve ourselves and consciously put an effort and uh, look into the activities, uh, look into our daily activities and make an effort to grow in that area where it is also a personal growth which could enhance uh, quality life and help us to achieve our dreams and aspirations. So how do we do that? We need to create, we need to come up with a personal development plan. How do we do that? So we need to define uh, the person that we want to be and the skills that we need to have and how are we going to accomplish that? How can I achieve that? So I need to list down all these. So as I list down the skills and the person that I want to become or I want to accomplish or achieve, there would be two ways. One would be a long term and one would be a short term. So we need to realize that and set our timelines accordingly so that we can reach them. So time and again, we need to visit this plan. See how are we progressing in that area. So when we visit this plan time and again, we will you know, put an effort in the areas where we are unable to focus, set some priorities in our schedule, and you know we'll make an effort uh, to to work on those areas where we need to develop those skills so that we can become the person we desire to be. So what happens with the effective leaders? The effective leaders focus continuously on improving themselves. So how do they do that? Even they have the same time period what each of us have. The only difference is they try to work on it every day. They set the priorities right. They delegate certain things to others which can be delegated. And they focus on the things that the, the, their personal attention is needed. So as a leader, we need to have this personal development plan and write down the skills that need to be developed it can be short and long term and focus on it continuously so that we can we can improve ourselves so we need to how we can improve how we can do that it's only by practicing self discipline by setting a goal making a plan and working on it every day eventually when we do that by setting small goals and we work on it make sure that we work on it every day we will eventually see ourselves personally developed or progressing towards the person whom we want to be. So, yes. Um, yeah. So, most of the time, uh, what may be our challenges in this area? Anyone in the class, what are your challenges for us to uh, put in that uh, put in that effort that is needed on a daily basis? Are we facing any challenges? OK, Mr. Shrikumar says laziness. Yes, Mr. Charles, please go ahead. Thank you. Um, some of the challenges, one, you, you would be willing you would be willing to to do personal improvement and development but you are also having an issue of finances maybe the thing that you are going to do require money and you do not have the finances to do that so you would be derailed but also um the the teamwork 
uh, the, the work that the team that you are working with, they are not all that are on, on goodwill. Some might try to pull you down so that you do not continue to go up. But there are also those who can lie to you. They put you, they allow you to strive on a ladder. As you go up, then they remove the ladder and you are left without where to fall, to come down. So all those can also be challenges of people not trusting you, people not wishing you well, but also finances. Thank you. Thank you, Charles sharing that actually that's a very valid point and i guess most of us at the workplace ministry many areas we face such challenges anyone in the class would like to answer what charles said how he can do it better how he can accelerate himself in this area anyone in the class yes shrikumar i see your hand raised uh, Pastor, I just want to add uh, something what uh, you were asking me uh, uh, before. So it's not connected with uh, Brother Charles' question. Uh, okay, okay. Anyone from the class would like to answer to Brother Charles any suggestions? How we can do better with the challenges that he shared about? Uh, okay yes yes one, maggie please go ahead but when 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 there's a challenge or when i face a challenge what i do is i find someone who has gone through this challenge that i'm facing so that they can advise and also work with me so that he can be his help and in encourager yes anyone else Anyone else, how we can handle these challenges? Some of the, yes, some of them like lack resources like finance. Can I please go ahead? Yes, yes, please. Uh, I think, um, uh, especially when it is finance, uh, uh, we can find the right mentor uh, who can help us to how to handle the finances. And second thing, I believe that um, we should, um, you know, educate ourselves uh, through reading books and um, and uh, write books, which can help him to to become more strong to handle the finances. That's my suggestion. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Shukma. Yeah, that's nice. The time management, managing the money. Yes, we need to be skilled in that way. And also, you need some finances to support yourself on the skill development that you needed yes that's where the short term and the long term comes short skills that can be achieved through a lot of online tutorials that are available you can make time and go through it uh, like if those things that need finance support you see how you can save up for those skills to be developed and you can maybe you can set that those as your long term it might be of months or a year it depends on your uh, you know uh, like the savings and the ability to get those resources collected so accordingly you can set your priorities and plan it that way and how to handle your colleagues who are actually uh, you know trying to pull you down a different ways yes you need to have certain skills to have like people skill to handle them but um, as we are part of the ministry and uh, we pray we seek god to help us this is something very uh, recent sermon pastor shared with us on a sunday where 
you will have people working against you at the workplace, at the ministry, people pointing at you, questioning you, uh, or you know, complaining or trying to pull you down. But then all you can do is seek God. Seek God like just how the psalmist seeks God. Uh, Psalms 71, 21, he shares it saying, uh, the scripture says like this, you shall increase my honor greatness and comfort me on every side that is something that you can claim for yourself and seek god god increase my honor increase my greatness and lord you comfort me from every side give me peace from everyone make all those who are against me work for me for the goal that you have put in my hand for the purpose that you have called me so god can change god can take this battle on him and he can change things for you okay we can see god in that area i hope that answered your that would that answered your question charles i hope that would help you okay so with that uh, yes, what yes. we can do it so much. yes thanks great uh, so most of the time uh, what we think uh, is about what we want to become. So when we have that in our mind, we need to set goals. We need to set certain reminders, short-term goals, and set a reminder where it will remind us time and again to set time to focus on what we want to achieve in our life. So when we take that small initiative in our life, and uh, that will make a pathway for us to accelerate, for us to develop in that area and move ahead so we can uh, we can uh, strive hard we need to work hard to achieve certain things in our life the new skills that we want to learn and from there we can move on to the next point how does personal development what is the difference between the personal development versus personal self improvement personal development versus self-improvement. So we need to recognize the difference between both. It can be a little tricky, but then they are similar. They both are very instrumental for us to achieve our goals and improve ourselves. So they are, they, they are key differences between both pers a self-improvement plan and a personal development plan. Well, the personal development is a work that we are putting in to transform ourselves on a daily basis. It's the effort that we are making to advance our work, our lifestyle, our attitude, or you know, social ability. So what we do, we set our personal development goals and we create plans uh, that could help us uh, grow. And we will look forward for any kind of opportunity that could come our way. And we take that as an open door and we move further. But then self-improvement is an inner transformation. It is a self-motivated uh, study or it is a self-motivated way where we can improve our character, our status or our knowledge by our own effort. We decide. It is a decision that you make and then you work on it. And self-improvement is a lifelong process where we constantly keep checking ourselves and try to change our habits so that we can become that full potential person that we desire to be. So there are certain efforts that we need to put in for personal development that would lead to self so there are seven categories of uh, personal development. Let me share that. I just made those points on a slide. Let me share that. Give me a minute. Okay. Hope every can everyone can see that. Is it visible? Okay. 
So there are seven categories of personal development where uh, we focus on our personal development category. So uh, it can be a personal skill, uh, personal growth, and personal power that would create a habit for personal improvement. So personal growth is founded on the education and skill. So through our education and experience, we increase our skill level and our ability to succeed in that particular field. Now, there are seven main categories here to develop our personal development, to achieve our personal development. So first one, personal skills. So personal skills can be, uh, can be the ones uh, that we were born with or as the skills that we gained through uh, you know deliberate practice they are often referred to as a soft skills example personal skills are it can it can involve decision making or teamwork or uh, teamwork or uh, being very organized and being good in communication so if you are interested in growing your skills at work or ministry you need to try to work hard on these personal skills. So knowing what area we need to excel in, that area needs to be developed. We need to put in an effort to develop. So that would lead to personal growth. So what does personal growth involve? Yes. Personal growth involves the first step for personal growth is we need to step out of our comfort zone. We, we should step out. The minute we step out of our comfort zone, you see the growth happen. Growth starts. As a human mind, we are constantly evolving, thinking about it. We are not the same person we were a year ago, a month ago, or a week ago, or a day ago. We are learning something new. We are learning something new. We need to make a difference. We need to have more experience in our life, which can shape us, shape our personality, our belief system, and help us to move further. So in order for us to experience this personal development or the personal growth in us, we need to strive to have to be a better version of ourselves on everyday basis. So how is that? We need to have that personal power within us that gives us the authority to believe ourselves and handle ourselves. So it gives the, uh, it fuels us. It gives us, we need that power uh, that can uh, help us to believe in us and you know make us to achieve greater goals, set goals and help us to achieve that. And also when we work on on ourselves, we see that we develop and we widen our circle. Uh, it can be a circle of influence, it can be the circle of contacts we know. We seek to learn more and more on every day and grow. So when we expand our network, when we look out for people and expand our network, yes, we grow in knowledge, we grow in skill, we learn from other people by seeing and by uh, just watching them, watching them, how they handle different situations, especially in the skills that we need to develop and we need to grow. When we look at certain people, learn from them, the way they lead their life, the way they talk, the way they handle their life, by through books, through some videotapes, through the lecture videos, seminars, we try to learn and expand ourselves in that area. So when we expand our network, the knowledge that we get from others, it increases our personal power and opportunities for personal development and that we will move on to the fourth point, personal improvement. But before I go to that, um, yeah, Charles, what's a comfort zone? I see a question from Charles asking, what's a comfort zone? 
comfort zone is something that you're comfortable with where you are you don't want to change you don't want to step out you don't want to do anything new you're very comfortable in the place where you are and you're not adapting for change no you want to learn something you know you want you want to develop any new skill within you you're comfortable where you are that is a very dangerous position being comfort and staying where you are being what you are not ready to learn or upskill ourselves i think that is all the comfort zone they also say that comfort zone is a place if you're not putting any effort to come out of it upskill yourself it is also equal to backsliding so you need to check on the comfort zone what is the comfort zone that you are in are we putting in any effort are we stepping up are we upskilling ourselves are we upgrading ourselves to the world that is moving are we up to the phase that our days are in so that we can upgrade and develop ourselves did that answer your question charles Yes, please. You can unmute. Okay. With that, we will move on to the fourth point, which talks about personal improvement. Personal improvement are the are the good habits that we can work on, or that we already have. for example like having a positive attitude positive thinking despite my situation we have this positive attitude that could spark us that could strive us to do something new so thinking before we act is critical to develop a strong amount of personal improvement so what we need to do to help us think first we need to try to set up priorities right on the list and then we need to consider the consequence before beginning that so working on a personal improvement and generating a positive attitude will also reduce the amount of time that it would take for us to achieve certain goals and that we will move on to the next point personal empowerment what do you mean by personal empowerment is a saying there is a saying uh, by mr lao tzu l a o t z u so he says it this way knowing others is intelligence knowing yourself is true wisdom mastering others is strength and mastering yourself is true power i repeat knowing others is intelligence knowing yourself is true wisdom mastering others is strength mastering yourself is true power so personal empowerment yes it is also similar to personal power except for the empowerment empowerment is the power that we see within ourselves instead of how others view at us we view at ourselves first so what happens it promotes a positive image we're trying to adopt a creativity within us in our daily life that could speed up our learning ability to achieve a personal a personal growth or personal goals that we have set to achieve it could also help us to increase uh the new areas that we want to consider and it could also make the uh, growth faster for us to achieve it why because we having this positive mentality that within us which empowers us 
you know, it, it gives us uh, an ability, uh, it changes our attitude not to give up on certain areas, but then encourages, encourages us to develop that area. So there is some kind of power within us that we need to boost it up by believing on ourselves and saying, you can do it. There's no one else. Sometimes you will not find others coming and patting your back and saying, hey, you can do it. But then we need to develop this positive mentality, positive empowerment within you to develop that, to put in that effort, extra effort that you need to walk, that extra mile that you may have to walk to achieve your goal. So when we don't give up on certain areas, you see that you walk that mile, you see to that you take that step out, you see that you achieve your goal sooner or later, but you will try to achieve it without any compromise. With that we will move on to the sixth point, but before I could move on, I see Maggie, you have raised your hand. Thank you, Pastor. Um, yes. I just, uh, um, I have difficulty understanding the difference between improvement and empowerment. Um, since improvement will empower you and empowerment will also improve you. Can you please uh, just explain a little bit like the difference between those two? Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. You want to understand the difference between improvement and empowerment? Yes. Improvement are the areas that you notice that you need to improve on, that you need to develop. It can be yourself or it can be from others. Okay, that you notice these are the certain areas that I need to improve. But empowerment is something that is within you, a kind of positive attitude within you that helps you not to give up on the areas that you need to improve, saying that, hey, I just cannot do it. This is not my cup of tea. I cannot do this. Okay, it's not that empowerment will help you to improve the areas that you need to achieve. So it will say, don't give up, Mangi. You can do it. There's something, a power within you, which is not letting you to give up, but looks out for different ways or different skills that you could learn improve in that area okay we also have charles raised his hand charles would you like to add anything for what maggie maggie's question yes um on improvement um according to the characters that you might be having uh, maybe you are not good at recording things you are not good at uh, timetabling you are not good at some things that are really good, there are skills that help you to get organized, and you are not doing them, but you understand that they are of help for you to deliver your services very well, then you on them to improve yourself, to improve yourself personally, and um, maybe you 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 quickly jump into a situation without digging to know what is the cause such things every time you, you there is a case or an issue in your ministry you jump into it without to uh, researching then you can improve yourself by now learning on how to do the research the underground work that's what comes in my mind when it comes to self-improvement. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Maggie, did that answer your question? Yes, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you very much. OK. So improvement is the area that you look to improve on and empowerment that happens within you, that you don't give up, you develop a personal positive attitude to improve the areas that you need to. Well, with that, we will move on to the personal analysis. Personal analysis are very important. And these are the areas that we need to consciously visit every time. 
some of us are naturally gifted where we can analyze on the areas that we need improvement and yes this is called as personal analysis where we analyze ourselves it can be day to day or month to month or year to year we set certain goals and we analyze ourselves did i achieve these goals it can be a yearly goal half yearly or monthly you analyze yourself am i improving on achieving certain skills certain areas or am i improving to the person whom i want to see myself down the line so being truthful about where we currently stand is the first step of moving forward knowing our weaknesses knowing our strength when we know our weaknesses we need to know how we can overcome those weaknesses so when we do this personal analysis we come up with these are my weaknesses and these are my strengths what well, strengths are good we can develop and grow well now weaknesses needs more attention we need to constantly evaluate ourselves on developing these weaknesses as our strength so there is something called progressive learning no matter how much we grow there's always will come across these two areas weakness and strength and there is a constant learning to overcome these weakness and make them as a strength how we can do that by setting small goals putting in our effort learning learning from uh, the resources that is available online through people to uh, see to it that you get some training if needed skill new skills to be developed there is something that is involved here is constant learning to achieve those goals and reach your ambition with that we will move on to the last point personal objectives so ambitious could go to waste when there is no clear goals set ahead so what do we do for that so we need to develop a short term and a long term goals and have small steps to achieve them so that eventually we will accomplish and grow as a person in that area so how we can do that we need to set a plan which could help us clearly understand and look out for new strategies it may not be the same what works to a person may not work to another so according to our own understanding and according to the area how we can develop ourselves we need to come up with some new strategies to work and achieve and reach our desired destination so why do you think we need to make this pdp personal development plan do you think it is important for us without the plan do you think that we cannot achieve the areas that we need to improve do you think this plan is needed um I believe it depends on the on the type of person, man. Because we 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 are different and okay. we do things differently. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Anyone else? The class? Do you think this plan is needed for us to develop personally? Yes, please. Yeah, thank you, Pastor. Yes, I believe that uh, yeah, it is uh, it is needed for us as long as uh, as we are in Christ and uh, as Jesus said that you are the light of the world and God wants us to excel in everything. So I believe that uh, this is something uh, very important a factor uh, which we have to look into it. Yeah, that's my uh, opinion. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Shrikumar. <coughs> yes 
both can be right. Maggie and Sri Kumar. Maggie, if somebody has the strong ability or attitude and being focused, a man who's very focused, we don't have to have a plan and follow that or uh, time and again come back, analyze him. Go ahead. But this is for somebody who needs help. The reason that we need to have a personal development plan is to for us to make a plan that could help us, that could guide us, to make us make our decision making better, to help us remind ourselves where we need to go. By this time, I need to achieve this many levels. But here I am. I'm lacking two levels down. That means I need to push myself. I need to uh, prioritize my things on daily life. I need to uh, give up on certain things that is taking a lot of my time. It helps me to check on myself, to analyze myself uh, on my daily routine and make time so that I can grow progressively. My growth is progressive. So if I don't have a plan, and if I don't uh, have, uh, uh, if I don't do this personal analysis over myself, I think down the line I'll be wasting my time. Or in other words, a good preparation could increase the probability of success, and it could also decrease the risk of things that may go wrong on a long way. Instead of me regretting later. I can better plan it now. So I feel personally that creating a plan, a personal development plan, can help me grow a better person, can, would help me to be focused or help me to analyze exactly on which level am I in and what are the things that I need to do to achieve this certain goal that I wanted to or I desire to be in my future. So we can consider a few benefits of having the personal development plan is by having a clear vision, bringing our vision to reality. This is what in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 says, have a vision and write it down on your tablet. The scripture says that write it down. It may tarry for some time, but there will be a time where it will fulfill. So when you look back, you'll praise God because that vision has become a reality. The scripture says writing down is very important. That's why God asked even Moses to write down all that he went through. The first Pentateuch, the first five books, he wrote it down. So I think writing down and setting our personal goals and working on it and uh, say, uh, breaking it down to small goals and uh, having a strategy, planning a strategy according to your ability or your will, your way of work is very important for us to reach the long term goal. So when we reach the short goals, eventually we'll re reach the long goals. So first is it would bring our vision to reality. Let me check if I have that in mind. Slide. Here it is. <clears throat> the second is it ensures you to take an appropriate and a logically planned action. And the third, it helps us to improve our time management skill so that we can achieve our goals, isn't it? And the fourth we see. Yes, there is a plan that we could keep track of our progress, which serves to motivate us when we want to give up. Very, very important to have this friend of us saying that, yes, I have this vision. I'm almost here. Now the two steps to go, I think I can do what I, I should not be giving it. This is not the right time to give it. I, yeah, uh, I need to uh, press hard or I need to seek help from others. So whatever needs, to reach my goal, I need to do that. So writing it down will help us to keep a track of progressiveness. And that also helps us to motivate within us, empower us to achieve that goal. The last point we see here is it's been 
proven to reduce our stress and improve our balance in life and increase our self-confidence. It will boost our self-confidence saying that when you have re reached these certain small goals, come on, you can do it. It will help us to push further. It will boost our confidence where we no more have this attitude of giving up, but then we carry, embrace the positive attitude to move further. So developing this personal development goals for work or for ministry, it could be any area, it will eventually make a difference between the success and failure. So we need to create the self-growth plan for our personal life you know, that could bring a difference on long time, long time, uh, uh, achieving this long time goal, which will eventually bring out happiness within us and there won't be any regrets because we have planned it well. Anyone in the, in the class would like to share that uh, you have set certain goals and that help you to achieve? So with that, we will move on to the next point. How to set this personal development goals. So even before we could set, we need to set a plan. We need to know to do this, to do you know, self-reflect, uh, to reflect on ourselves and answer some of these personal questions to, to set the goals. So the few questions that we could uh, or we should develop, we should ask before uh, we lay out uh, a specific plan or action are the three questions. What do I want to make out of my life? What do I want to make out of my life? And the second question we can ask is, what are my goals and ambitions? Very important. So that I can set things. And third, what is currently standing in my way of achieving these goals? So I need to know my hurdles, my obstacles, so that I can work. So after we answer these questions, we can create a personal plan that can contain few key components, like uh, that uh, that would develop us, that would develop our personal development plan to work and so that we can focus on smart goals. So when we say smart goals, what is that? So here we are. I just put a small abbreviation, which I got. Yes, SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. It's very easy. Something that is specific. When I set a goal, I want to be specific. Then that is measurable and achievable in my limit, in my standard, in my ability, in my capability. And those need to be relevant to me. And it should be time-bound. When we keep the smart elements in our mind and set the goal, I think eventually we can do. How? When we say specific, we write goals um, in detail that are clear instead of broad or general. We are specific to the point. What I need, this is what I want to achieve. This is where I want to see myself in a year. And this is what it is. So keeping that in mind, you set some small milestones on monthly basis that will help you achieve your goal. And third, you make these goals achievable. So what are the challenges that I'm facing? What are the realistic challenges and how I can overcome those challenges for me to achieve that goal is what you will look into it. So you'll come up with a strategy to overcome your challenges and then 
to check is it relevant how we need to align our goals with our personal self improvement plan so that it can be relevant to what you are moving towards and then you check the time bound you pick an end date what the end date if you do not have an end date we will be working on it you know forever eternity so we will not do that we will have an end date set by which you will press on work towards achieving that set goal i think almost we have come to the end of the session so some personal um, development plan that we can do uh, by using all these steps and um, i i i i hope this session has helped you to plan to set your goals write down uh, break it down into small categories and have a strategy how you can work towards this goal and achieve it so i feel this pdp is very important for us to have uh develop ourselves personally and achieve the skills uh, or uh, or uh, be the person who we desire to be in a certain period of time so if there's any question uh, yes please feel free to unmute and ask Okay, I don't see any question or hands raised. So with that, I leave this class with an encouraging word. So let's create a personal development plan today. Let's not wait for us to start improving in our life and then have a plan. But then just let's create. Let's create a plan with the things that we need to work on, so we can improve our personal life. We can accomplish uh, the desired person whom we want to be, or uh, we want to learn the skills that we want to uh, achieve in our life. So we can set certain goals and improve on those areas and be empowered, live a empowered life. So with that, I end this session. And yes, we can end this class with a word of prayer. Uh, can I request one of us to please unmute and pray? Shall I pray now? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Father God, we are so thankful to you, Father, for the way you are teaching us, Lord Father, the way you are leading us, Abba Father, in every detailing, whatever we are learning, Abba Father, may it enrich us, equip us, enable us, and help us to grow in your word, in your truth, and do things the way you want us to do. And Lord, we can avoid so many pitfalls when we are applying this word of our Father. Lord, let your Holy Spirit continue to remind us of those detailed study that we are doing of our Father. Thank you for all the teachers. Thank you for ma'am. Thank you for the, the detailing that has come into Father. And we believe, Lord Father, that it is your divine plan for us that we grow in it, Abba Father, and be blessed in it, Abba Father, and be a blessing to our city, to our nation, and to nations. We are so thankful to you for every, every provision that you have made. Thank you for all the people who have joined in. We give you glory, honor, and praise, and we ask this prayer in the precious and matchless name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. 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 Thank you, Abni. Thank you, each one, for joining in. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.